they are talking about you and they're despising your looks and by the way i'm ishmael and your priest i welcome you to today's video listen they are surely talking about you oh first of all let me just begin this by saying this about myself honestly I, I honestly came to a point where i've learned to understand how a human being is like and i hope if you can take it like i do you will be safe and you must remember that in everything that happens there is you and there is god the lord god almighty he sees each and everything that is happening unto your life let me assure you that god almighty he sees everything as you walk with him he is walking with you every bad mouth and every tongue that speaks negativity against you the lord can hear and the lord sees it all in fact let me put it like it hurts the lord the same way is it in the second samuel chapter 15 if not chapter 16 when david was being chased away by his son who wanted to take over the kingdom the man met shimei and shimei started cursing david throwing stones at him but you know what the king said he was like no because his servants wanted to destroy or stop shimei but he told them to not do anything it was like what point or what how will it serve me if i am to stop this man from cursing me while god has permitted him to therefore it is better i let him curse me for if it is god that enabled him to curse me in this manner and the lord sees that i deserve it then there is nothing i can do about it but if this man is cursing me whereas it is wrong in the eyes of god that will perhaps make the lord to have more mercy upon me in fact it was gonna attract the grace of god the more that is why i want to tell you that when people they talk negativity against your situation about you they are not bringing you down actually they are doing you a favor that is why you must understand that just what people are that is why some people you bump into them they look like they are suffering big time yeah the things never fall into place let me tell you that in each and every person if god was to tell you and reveal why he is not delivering them why they are where they are even though some they claim that they are friends of god but god can tell you no the wonder why this person is always like this although they seem to be devoted i know this person's heart i know what they say when they are seeing other people they have people whom they are continually cursing and those people are my own let me tell you they have the guards to say negativity that is why personally so i try hard not to come against people i understand the danger of fighting things which are being blessed by god i understand what harm it might do to me instead you must let people do as they please given that you are honest with yourself you are not harming anybody myself i honestly sit down in each and every situation if there be someone who we are not talking first of all i sit down i'm like ishmael be honest with yourself who is wrong okay even if you are not wrong but do you have do you really have not to talk are you supposed to not to talk to one another with this person do you have to keep quiet on each other that's what i meant to say that is when i realized that sometimes my fears of talking to that person or trying to break the silence it will be not necessarily because i just don't want to do it but it'd be like hey sometimes i'm scared what if this person speaks this negative uh, opposite you know maybe they don't talk back to me so i'll be fearing that but when i realize that they are come on like you are the one who started something i try harder to judge myself and say you know what you go apologize you know what you don't have to do something about it fix this matter <laughs> that is why at the end of the day i realize that if still i'm found to be wrong i don't see how i there are some people that in my life i look back and i'm like the reason me and this uh guy we no longer friends or those those friends what really happened 
was it worth it so every time i remember what could have been the cause or what was the actual cause and i realized that still even if i fix matters the problem is like this person does this opposite thing that's what makes me to have peace of mind you get what i'm saying that is why at the end of the day there are things that people majority they don't judge themselves correctly most people are living in lies most people they it's almost like they still kill and still go to church and praise god and still demand or ask and request from god they are holding grudges and you don't want to forgive some they even uh, confess it that you know what uh never i will never forgive this person never i will never i will i will never 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 so how can you help that person how can you assist such a person they have made a vow that i will never ever that's why they say saying that like when some people be like over my dead body people they make such vows so ask yourself a question that person has stubbornly vowed that this they won't let go that's why today i tell you i am telling you today that if they are talking they will look at you they're gonna talk there will be times where you look down financially struggling you don't have proper clothes to wear and there will be people who will be talking behind your back i remember there was someone who also said the same that was you know what a christian person for that matter prayerful one but what the person was saying that there was a time in which my situations were bad things were, were, were down and i was even embarrassed in front of other fellow believers and my, at that time myself i never even noticed that this person was going through those stuff you got what i'm saying to show that it is hard nothing as humbling than when you are suffering and let me tell you there will be people who will still have the guts to laugh at you there are some people today that they are in situations where they like they are sick and they begin to lose weight they start to look weird they lose big time and people are going to assume different things people are going to laugh at your condition things which are not funny people are going to laugh but let me tell you one day one day i remember one some people they haven't really had some people sometimes they won't tell you something but after when you are okay that's when they say eh, i was starting to get worried eh, i thought maybe they start to tell you things which they were assuming when they were seeing you we thought maybe you don't have we haven't seen your car in a long time we thought maybe your car has been repossessed we thought maybe something bad and you can just tell it was like some sort of a gossip kind of assumptions people have the guts to laugh at you but in each and every condition in situation it comes to an end so long as you're walking with god haven't you sometimes sat down and look at your pictures like five years ago and be like what so i look like this and you even laugh at yourself like what the sometimes you look at yourself like i was this skinny back then so this is how i used to dress and i felt like there was nothing wrong like yo you get what i'm saying in each and every situation god will give you the grace to deal with it to be okay with it to feel fine to not be demanding to not want too much things but that's why it is harder when you're in that situation which you're supposed to go through but you feel like lord give me clothes to wear i want to wear like a, i want to wear gucci i want to come on like that is putting pressure on yourself but don't worry about them let them laugh sometimes you will fall sick and they will laugh at you sometimes you will go broke they will laugh at you sometimes some people they fail at school they laugh you get fired from work they will laugh at you things fall apart they will laugh at you they laugh at your children that things are not going well that's what they do and it's not like god is gonna shortcut things and then he skips the process you will have to go through it but once you come out of it ah uh, let me tell you you are having a big 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 major testimony in your lips that is why in the beginning i told you the most important thing is to be working with god is to be honest that you're not going around provoking people as innocent as you are before god let me tell you he won't disappoint you i pray let his grace help you and enable you further 
In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.